When it's a rental property in your home, a lot of people think it's, it's basement only. What are the options for adding an income property to your home? A basement is only one option. And season two, we really got out of the basement. I think we only have four basement <laughs> episodes out of 13. So there's a lot of uh, attics and lofts and people who have split up the main floor or they have a triplex even. They'll rent out the basement, the main floor, and they'll live upstairs. All kinds of different options. And it's a lot of, it's to your benefit to own something that has more than two or three levels because the higher you move up in the house, the more rent you typically get huge opportunities on main floors and upper units to get high rent. Considering that you've done it now for a couple of seasons, what's changed? Have you learned anything new? Like, have you changed your approach? Uh, I have learned a lot, actually. Um, working with the show and working with a designer, I've learned a lot about how tenants are actually willing to pay more if you really spruce it up. I mean, for me, for a long time, it was about making it safe, making it clean, making it durable, and giving them this kind of very really neutral, nice place. And I have to interrupt because when we spoke last year, I asked you about you know the wow factor in rental properties and what tenants go for. And you basically said, listen, no emotional attachment, make it nice, yeah. but not so nice, because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so what, so do go on. So, so I'm, cha I'm changing my game a little bit. Um, everything I said before still applies, but for me, it's always been a money game. Game, don't overinvest. You know, there's a certain point where people just aren't going to pay any more rent no matter what you do to the place. But not so much in the city. The competition in the in the downtown urban areas for some of these really nice apartments is phenomenal. And when you start throwing in really nice uh, countertops or stainless steel appliances, I'm finding that people are willing to pay for it. So what's in vogue these days for a big wow factor rental? Like what's what's really sought after? What's super hot for the rental properties? Well, stainless steel appliances is going over very well. Uh, solid surface countertops or granite countertops is uh, people get pretty pumped about. I've even thrown wallpaper in a few times and I am like the anti-wallpaper person because it's such a commitment and it's usually so personal. But I found this... Um, strippable wallpaper. So if you don't like it, it peels off. None of this crazy scraping and wetting. It's it's like, it looks like wallpaper, it is wallpaper, but the application process is basically where you pick the corner, it peels off, and you can just paint your wall. It's like a showstopper for them. They might go see 10 places, and at the end of the day, they're talking about which place they liked, and they'll be like, well, that one with the wallpaper, you know, it's sort of something uh, something for them to remember the place by. Okay, so let's say I'm ready to embark on being a landlord. Are you, though? I Don't play with me here. Are you going to be a landlord or not? Well, I have considered it, but I, I have cold feet about it because I don't know if I could live with another person in my home. I have a child. I'm a little bit afraid. I'm a little finicky. How do I put myself at ease? Okay. The first thing you have to do is decide, well, you have to determine if your house can accommodate a rental unit. So let's say it can, but you're still apprehensive. You have to decide what type of person could I handle living here. You want someone who is, uh, you know, smart or responsible. Um, fabulous. I want somebody want some, fabulous. You, so you want someone just like yourself. Exactly. Okay. Scott. <laughs> so then you have to build an income suite that would be suitable for you. It has to have everything that you would expect in a rental suite. It has to have cleanliness and durability and functionality and it has to have laundry and high ceilings and um, beautiful faucets. It has to have everything that you would want and then you'll be able to get the type of tenant you're looking for because when that other version of you walks in, that version of you 10 years ago who can't afford a home and, and whatnot, it comes in to see this beautiful rental property, you'll be like, oh, this seems like a really sweet girl. I could totally handle this wonderful young lady living downstairs in my house and paying me 50 You had me at fabulous. <laughs>